Hi guys, and welcome back to day nine of Vlogmas. I hope everyone's been getting into the holiday spirit, because I know I have. Unfortunately, my Sophie and Toffee Elves Club Kawaii subscription box hasn't arrived yet. Wow, that was a mouthful. But I do have a really great AliExpress resin craft haul to share, and a separate Sophie and Toffee order that's arrived too. So be sure to drop a big thumbs up, Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and let's jump into this awesome kawaii craft haul. Hey guys, we are back up in the magical room. Let the fun begin. Now, before we get started, I'm just going to tell you guys something really, really quickly. So for some reason, this time my Sophie and Toffee package didn't come in their signature box, and it also did not come with their signature little colory ball packagey thingies. It just came in this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump it out right here. I'm going to push it to the side, and then we are going to go through it one by one. And after that, I'm going to really quickly show you guys the stuff that I got at AliExpress. Now, if it seems like I'm talking a little bit fast in this video, I am going to be talking a little bit fast because I really, really want to get this video uploaded and out today for day nine of Vlogmas because I have so much more awesome stuff to share with you guys this week. So without further ado, blah, 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 blah. blah. Let's jump into this. So all. I have pushed everything over the side. Like I said before, I am going to be talking fast in this video, so hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. So if you remember, I did get the mint decoration gem in one of my last orders, and I really, really liked it. I can actually give you um, a really short review on this product. It is what I used for the drizzle on this deco whip box. As you can see, um, it turned out really, really beautiful um my only the only con there's only basically two cons to this product one is that it shrinks and two is that as you can see the color did get darker so it did not stay the pastel mint um to match perfectly with the bows and stuff like i thought it would um however it still looks really great it matches perfectly with their mint um deco whip so overall um i really really liked it as you can see that's why i ordered more so so I did get the pink, the mint, and the lavender. So if you remember last time I got some sequins from them, some baby blue bats for my pastel goth jewelry, uh, resin jewelry that I make. So when I saw these pink ghosts, um, originally I passed them up and then after that I was like, you know what, when am I going to have a chance to find pink ghosts again? Well, little did I know that any time on AliExpress. <laughs> but anyway, I did order the pink ghosts and honestly, you guys, they are super, super cute. I'm actually really, really glad I got them. I think these are going to be awesome in shaker cards. I think these are going to be awesome in resin. Um, I just think these are really awesome all around. So yeah, I did get the pastel bats. Um, so moving on, I did get another um, deco whip. Uh, this is actually one that I haven't got from them before. This is the pink and mint and I will open that up for you guys and give you a look at it. Okay, so here is what the deco whip looks like out of the package. Um, I am really really happy already. I can see that I haven't had any deco whip um, this exact shade of mint before and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I'm also really excited because about a week after I bought this um, I accidentally ordered it again with a second order or fifth order I should say from them um, so now I'm actually really excited because this color looks absolutely gorgeous you guys um, here is the tip that came with it which is not a star honestly I think these companies should only buy the star tips um, but you know whatever luckily I already have a million star tips so that is the deco whip right there um, next, I did also order this sealer. So this is the Sophie and Toffee Super Gloss Sealer. And um, let me just see if I can read it off camera for you guys. Ooh, that is really small print. So it says um, for metal, clay, or resin, um, your pieces super glossy. 
Okay, so basically it's just like a super glossy um, sealer, I guess, like a top coat, you know, like a top coat for your nails kind of thing. Um, so I am really excited to try this on my pieces, really wondering, you know, how it's going to work uh, compared to Triple Thick or compared to um, some of the other ones that I've tried from the hobby store. So I did pick that up. I think it was about $4 USD. Um, and yeah, it just kind of comes in like a little nail polish bottle. So yeah, I think that'll be neat to try. Um, so like I told you, I was going UV resin crazy. Um, I actually still would be, but I kind of put my um, UV resin uh, on hold a little bit till I could um, do this haul because there is so many bezels in this haul, you guys. And like, I did not want to use them until I did this video for you guys. Because if you remember last time, I couldn't wait and I got into the unicorns. Um, so these are some of the unicorns that I got from Sophie and Toffee. They they are absolutely so gorgeous. I made them with the resin uh, that I got in my last order. So if you remember, I had run out of clear resin. So I was like, uh -uh, I ain't never going to run out of clear resin again. So I ordered more resin. And this isn't the only resin I ordered, guys. So this is their 60 grams of UV resin. It is the hard type, which is like basically the type you need for, you know, making resin molds and uh, open bezels, stuff like that. Um, so I do uh, have more coming and more that's already arrived that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. Um, so the last bottle that I got was a 25 gram bottle. This is a 60 gram bottle. So um, it should last a lot longer. Um, so next I am going to show you guys these really neat um, pins. I'm pretty sure that I've seen similar ones at Michael's in the past, but I figured I'd throw them into the order, you know, seeing as I was making an order anyway. Um, so if you didn't know, I do make eat -a bag pins. Um, and basically they're pins that um, people stick on their bags, like, but you can put them on anything. Like you can put them on your jacket, you know, you can like basically do anything with them. And you know, I just take cabochons um, like this and like this and I glue them to a pin. So now I have never personally ever had one break or fall apart. I use E6000. However, apparently these are supposed to be like sturdier or something for your cabochons. So I did get them to give them a try. Honestly, um, I don't really see how this could be better than the ones I've used in the past. It kind of looks like it might be a little less sturdy, but I guess I'll put the glue all around the white edges and I'll see how it goes. So I did get those. So I also did get two um, molds, two more shaker molds from Sophie and Toffee that I'm really, really excited to use. So if I didn't tell you guys before, um, the first heart shaker mold that I got from Sophie and Toffee was like really screwed up and it had like a thumbprint and some kind of streak in the heart and if you didn't know um, anything that is on a mold will affect your piece so if there's a fingerprint even on there it's going to be on your piece and unfortunately it was a print that was obviously put there when the mold was wet and being made and so it was like screwing up every piece I made so I only made two and then I was like I'm just going to get a new one so I did and there it is it's the heart shaker mold this is one that I'm really really excited about this is the cotton candy shaker mold and now is when I'm going to have to start Start to go a little bit fast because I really want to show you guys all this stuff. So like I said, I did also get some really, really cute cabochons. Um, so if you follow my hauls, then you know I love these stars. And you're probably like, why would she order those? Yes, you guys, I have a million stars. I make like really awesome star uh, earrings, as you can see up here. And I do this time, you guys, please, if you're one of my like really awesome subs and YouTube buddies, let me know if I forget to put my link in the video because I did last time. Oh my goodness. So I am going to put the link to my store in the description if you guys are interested. Um, but I did find these stars. And like I said, I really wanted to throw some cabochons into this video and so these were called like the pastel stars I think let me see so they are called the big glitter star resin and I think they weren't too bad maybe three or four dollars US um, yes it is a higher price than I'm used to paying normally I buy in bulk and you know I get like a whole lot more for like a bit more money 
Um, however, it did come with all the different pastel colors, and I just really like how these colors look together. Um, so I might actually make craft something that has like all of these on one piece like I could see it as some kind of like really statement necklace you know what I mean like do you see it guys like I, I don't know or you know maybe I'll even do some kind of art you know for the wall I don't know yet but I just really like how they look together these ones are honestly super super duper glittery compared to the ones from AliExpress I'm actually going to take one down to show you guys um, because there is a big difference. So here are the ones that I've always got from AliExpress. See, they have a matte back. These ones have like a pearlescent glittery back and it is so, so pretty. So honestly, I may order more of these. They are so, so cute. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna order more just to even keep a set in my stash cause I love them so much. So I did get those as well. So I did get another pack of cabochons. Like I was telling you guys, I did get two. Just, you know, wanted some cute stuff for you guys to feast your eyes on. You know, since my videos are always so darn cute, couldn't have it all just being blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I did also get this pack of bows. And are they called pastel? Is anything called pastel? Let's see, star confetti bow resin. We'll see if I sold these, sorry about that. If I sold these, these would be called pastel. Anyway, ooh, I guess this one's not pastel, maybe not. Anyway, I just thought these were so darling. Aren't these the cutest things? So we got a mint, we got like a little peachy baby pink. This one here is like, um, ooh, it's like a off-white, I think it's supposed to be purple, but it's like a really, really light lilac. Even this yellow is really super pretty and the baby blue as well. So I did get these. Oops, there is one more thing from Sophie and Toffee that I do have to show you guys, and it is these really cute iridescent baubles over here. Now I just realized there is no way I'm gonna be able to show all the AliExpress stuff in this little amount of time. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I can really, really quickly, and then I'm gonna save the rest for, um. I don't know, a deco den haul or something, I guess. So I did get um, some more UV resin. Um, this is actually a five pack. So I got five bottles for about $21 on AliExpress. Great deal, cause one of these bottles from Sophie and Toffee costs like nine or $10 US. So that is a huge difference, guys. So I got those from AliExpress. Another thing I got, which I am so excited to share with you guys, and I have already made some of these. I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys the in one of my Vlogmas videos this week. So if you guys have seen these, okay, these are the little balls, okay? And then you just use either glue or your clear UV resin, and you glue these on the top. These are freaking globe charms, okay guys? I got 50 of them. I have made the cutest little things with these. They are so beautiful. I wanted these for so long, but they were out of my price range. I finally found them in like plastic instead of glass, but honestly, they feel like glass, guys. They are so awesome. So I got one more minute left. I'm gonna choose really, really wisely. Should it be molds or should it be bezels? It's gonna be the bezels. Let's see what we can get. I got another pack of these. Remember the stars with the little spaces around them? Or maybe I didn't show you guys those yet. I got some more of these bunnies. I think I got 10 of them over here. I got some really, really cute um, kawaii bows, like Lolita style, very, very pretty. Remember those moons? This time I got some silver ones, which are really, really cute. I got these Lolita moons over here with the bow and the star. I got these awesome like rainbow castles, princess castles, they are so cute guys. I got these like wands over here. They're like wands with things. You know what you guys, I'm gonna attach a picture of these onto the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed. Tune in tomorrow and the next day cause I have the most magical hauls for Vlogmas. Love you.